Hey guys, three months ago, I had a feeling that I had to cover Alpha Investments relentlessly because he would start deleting his connection with MetaZoo and the only remaining information that Alpha Investment was such a big part of MetaZoo besides the uh, playmats and obviously the promo cards, which he's getting a lot smarter now. I've noticed that Sorcery does his Sorcery promo is unlike his MetaZoo or Flesh and Blood promo where he doesn't have his face on it. Um, typically, like with Logan Paul, uh, when CryptoZoo, again, very similar to MetaZoo, and name and exactly what they did, the rug pull. And MetaZoo was a rug pull for everyone defending it. You guys are idiots. It was a rug pull. They literally have a product, at least one product, called Native Streamer Kits, where they ask you to pre-order and they still haven't delivered it yet. That is the definition of having the rug pulled from you because you expected something and it wasn't delivered. That's the definition of a scam, okay? You paid money for something, it wasn't delivered. That's the same thing of what's happened with Logan Paul and CryptoZoo, right? They paid money for something, it was not delivered. So now we have Alpha Investments and a mad panic. These are all his videos, by the way. So I knew this would happen to him because I had experience with Anthony Farrar. Anthony would used to make these like crazy live streams where he would attack people, including myself, right? And then he would delete it and act like nothing happened, even though he's threatened our lives, our livelihoods, he's threatened like everything. And I knew, and he would also make these like investment videos on Rolexes and why you should invest with him and you can sign with him. And I knew, and in my heart of heart, I knew that he would delete those videos because they were just like criminal. Basically, they were for him. Uh, he's in prison right now. They would be used against them. And, and since that time, those videos have been deleted. Uh, his entire channel was just his confession of his guilt. So I, I was like, you know what? Um, this MetaZoo thing, and I, I didn't even know MetaZoo had bankrupt them until somebody told me. I already had like some videos up, but I knew it was going poorly. And I said, you know what, I bet you anything, if MetaZoo goes belly under, Alpha Investment is going to say that he didn't tell you it's investable, which is exactly what he did. He said that MetaZoo was never investable for all you fans of MetaZoo. That's what he told you. He literally told you MetaZoo at no time was investable. He literally has a video. And uh, if you don't believe me, since the video has been deleted, uh, Nick's strength in Pokemon took offense with that, and he has that clip. He has that clip of Rudy Chan, and this is what they do, right? I mean, these are what these fake gurus do. They tell you, invest in this stock, and that's and, and it happens um, a lot in gambling as well, where you're you're picking teams. I forget what they're called. It's like parlays. Yeah, they only they they will post a bunch of parlays on Instagram, and then w if they don't win or get close to winning, they will delete it as if it doesn't exist. And they will leave up the ones where they win, and you might be like, oh, how are they making money? The idea is you would then pay them to, to help you do a pick. Oh, it's called like sports picks or whatever. It's a huge industry, by the way. And it's, it's really obvious, right? So I go to Las Vegas. I bet on uh, different teams to win, and this team, did this to happen. Probably one of my parlays will hit. And I will look like a genius, right? I might have to spend $10,000 to win $5,000. So I'm net down $5,000 because that's gambling in a nutshell. But for you, you guys never see the posts I, I lose money because I'm constantly deleting them. And I leave up the posts where I make money. I make a, a big deal. of Look, look, you know, look at all my posts. I'm a winner every time. And then you give me money for my sports picks. And I, what I'm making money, I'm not actually making money from gambling, you understand? I'm making money from sports picks. Right? Does that make sense? So in this sense, um, Alpha Investment is only going to talk about his wins, not his losses. Right? Because this is a massive loss. This, this came went down 90, 95% already. You can look at the high end. You can look at the Kickstarter first edition, which he has a video saying it's a $10,000 box. You can look at that one. 
Or you can look at the low end, which you have multiple slabs selling for less than $5 shipped. $4.99 shipped, even though it costs $15 a grade from PSA, and they are PSA graded slabs. So there's no way around it. They're literally selling cards. They're literally selling at a at least a $10, $20, $30 loss. From grading alone, assuming the card is totally worthless, right? Grading and shipping. And then the eBay fees and so on. I just think that a lot of people need to wake up to the gurus. They're getting taken advantage of and they, they, get, they bring so much hate towards me. But if I can make a video where I can save one person, one family, one individual from investing in MetaZoo and losing all, <laughs> losing a lot of money, one person from taking out a credit card, and you know it, it's crazy to me, right? Because you gotta take your wins with your losses. That's what that's what Rudy Chan has always said that he's been very open with his losses. This is not it, Rudy. This is you rewriting history but why should we be surprised if you really want to look at what he said nick strength and pokemon has a fantastic video about rudy and for him i always am afraid rudy will copyright strike me so i never use his videos for the most part uh, but nick and strength um he's got a bigger youtube channel than rudy is not a dude that you want to mess around with really good guy um he has that clip he has that clip where he's literally telling you that he doesn't believe MetaZoo at any time or anyone believed it was investable. A guy selling $8,200 kits and bundles and and uh, he literally has an email to his patrons, which I've shown over and over again, where he says it is investable. You know, invest. I mean, he's using financial terms and so on. Maybe not the term investable, but everything else, it's out for investment, baby. So, I kind of want to do a live stream on this because I think it's such a big issue. Um, because you have a lot of fake gurus do this. And then the coffee dealer stuff, they call them out and stuff. And I don't know why people don't call him out more. He's literally rewriting history, right? Like, if you're an investment channel... Graham Stefan, I'm looking at you, and you gave bad advice about FTX, then it's really important for your subscribers to know the thought process and what happened and, and the interviews and why you took FTX as a sponsor because then maybe in the future, they can avoid the next FTX. They can think for themselves and, okay, I actually really wanted to know. The only thing I want to know is how many Nightfall kits got sold and that video was privated, and then when I did a search on MetaZoo, all the videos are privated. As of this recording, which is Friday, April 12, 4 p.m., all the most of the majority of the videos you're seeing are privated. Hi, guys.